flight school will learn to fly. Oh, let me take you to flight school. Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. So today is finally the day the Dovetail Games Flight School has launched, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial to help everybody get acclimated with some of the ways that you can enhance the sim with NVIDIA Inspector, along with how to get your track IR up and running, as well as some of your controls. This is really intended um, to be a sim for new users, but I know that a lot of experienced users will be trying it out as well. And I uh, wanted to provide this brief tutorial on just uh, helping some folks get started as I've been watching some streams and some folks have been um, having some difficulty with getting things uh, kind of started in the sim. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll look at is uh, track IR. So if you're using track IR, all you have to do is uh, go on over to your track IR install and go ahead and click on the top left hand side and click check for game updates. It'll prompt you that your game list has been updated and that you should restart track IR and just go ahead and close it and restart it and it will work just fine. So you should have uh, no issue with that whatsoever as long as you launch track IR before you launch flight school it'll work just fine. The next thing we'll look at is Nvidia Inspector. And so a lot of folks already know what NVIDIA Inspector is if you use other games and you know that it's a way of enhancing the anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering that you may find in some popular game titles. And uh, it's something we've used for a long time in P3D and FSX, and it also works in Flight School. So in the description below, you will find a file called fsc.nip, which I created for Flight School, and you can feel free to use it. If it works out well for you, then great. If not, you can play with some of the settings for yourself. So the first thing that we'll need to do is uh, we'll go ahead and need to download that file. And once you have it downloaded, um, you'll go on over to your profiles page of NVIDIA Inspector and import the profile. So um, what you'll want to do is just go to wherever you downloaded it and uh, go ahead and import that profile. So that'll now create a um, profile called FSC. And um, all you have to do is select it um, by going on over your profiles. And you can see the changes um, right here. Um, so basically, um, you know, I made some changes to the anisotropic filtering setting, the texture filtering quality, um, and then the anti-aliasing mode and setting, um, along with the transparency super sampling. Um, it will take a little bit of a hit on performance. You'll probably lose anywhere from about 5 to 10 frames per second or so, possibly. Um, and uh, of course, like I said, you can play with it if you'd like uh, to make it work better for your system. And actually, one quick thing I will mention here is that if for any reason it doesn't seem to enhance your sim, um, what you want to do is uh, open the um, profile back up again and go on up to where it says um, add uh, application to current profile because it's probably not uh, correctly identifying which um, application you want to enhance. You can find it in PC, C program files, Steam, Steam apps, COM, and Flight School and just go ahead and associate the uh, program file with it and uh, <clears throat> it should work just fine. So um, all you do from there is click Apply Changes, and you can go ahead and exit it and launch Flight School. So now um, we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the control settings that you'll find in Flight School. So a lot of folks, um, especially if you're an experienced simmer, may be using a yoke, a joystick, rudder pedals, a throttle quadrant, etc. And um, it still has some of the um, legacy issues that uh, some folks experience with controller calibration in um, FSX and P3D. So for example, you see here that uh, I have my MFG crosswinds um, installed, uh, but um, if you look on the right hand side, you'll see that for some reason there's a uh, aileron axis, a elevator axis, and a throttle axis all assigned to my rudder pedal. So how do I fix that? Um, because definitely the interface looks a little bit different than um, it uh, used to in old FSX or P3D. And so um, <clears throat> what we'll want to do to fix these axes um, is actually uh, go on over to the left where you will see three options that you can use to change the um, uh, attributes of your controllers. So first of all, you have um, control settings, and that's essentially um, the settings for the type of controller that um, you have plugged in. So uh, controller type would be your Xbox controller, your yoke, your mouse, your keyboard, whatever. And then the event categories are essentially which events are affected by the inputs that you'll be providing these controls and ultimately depicted in the sim. So if it's something that has to do with engines, radios, lights, views, um, et cetera, et cetera. 
So since we have our controller type selected as our rudder pedals, what I'll want to do is go on up to control settings and go down to where the axes are. So here you can see my aileron axis, my elevator axis are all assigned. So I want to get rid of those. So I would just click delete joystick assignment for those. And then we'll go on down to throttle as well and delete joystick assignment for that as well. Great. What I do want to do is have my toe brakes on my rudder pedals work. So what I can do is either double click or click change assignment. Either one will work. And then once I click on that, all I'll need to do is just uh, deflect my left toe brake and that's assigned. Same thing for the right, deflect the right one and it's assigned. So for some controllers, depending on what kind of uh, rudder pedals you may have, you may find that you end up with the opposite effect depicted, depicted in the sim. So for example, um, when your brakes are released, they may be showing as pressed down in the sim. And so to change that, you would just go on down here to invert axis and uh, that will fix it for you so that now your uh, rudder pedals will properly respond to the input that you're providing them. So um, what we'll go ahead and do now is uh, um, take a look at the um, calibration page. So if for some reason you find that your um, brakes are taking too much deflection to um, get a response, you can change the null zone, which is essentially the zone in which um, the uh, input is null or the input, put it, the input I'm sorry, is zero. Um, and so if you find that it's too sensitive or um, not sensitive enough, you can change the null zone so that it uh, takes or um, excludes an input um, within a certain parameter. Um, the same thing goes for sensitivity. <clears throat> so with sensitivity, you can essentially make it so that um, your controls are more sensitive or less sensitive, meaning you uh, uh, will find that uh, deflection um, has more or less of an effect. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the yoke. So as you can see here, everything seems to be correct for my yoke, my aileron, my elevator, my throttle, but I wanna change uh, the um, particular axis that is affected by my throttle. And uh, also I want to assign flaps. So what we can do here is go on down the throttle axis and I can double click or click change assignment once again. And uh, what I want to do is use my X axis for that. So I'll go ahead and move my X axis and then I'll work just fine. Um, now let's say I want to do flaps. I can double click on that and then put in my one that's right to my right of my X axis, which is my um, Y axis and go ahead and assign that. Now the same thing goes as we were looking at with uh, the rudder pedals. If for some reason you find that the uh, control command is backwards essentially, you can go ahead and click inverted and basically what this will do now with my uh, SciTech throttle quadrant is uh, make it so that uh, when my um, <clears throat> Y axis is all the way up, so are my flaps and when I put it all the way down, they're there as well. So that's it. Hopefully that helps with some of you guys getting started. Um, I'll be doing more tutorials and videos here soon um, with uh, Flight School, but uh, this should help everybody get started with uh, very little incident. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed and uh, catch you next time.